Hey everyone, it's Jennifer from stampwithjennifer.blogspot.com and today I just want to show you real quick how to flatten our bottle, um, our soda pop tops. When you purchase them, you get 16 soda pop tops. You get two different sizes, a small and a large. Um, the small fits our half inch circle punch and the big one fits our one inch circle punch. And of course we have stamp sets that coordinate with this. Um, these are just a few samples with flattened pop tops and this one has crystal effects um, to make that bubble in the center and then this one um, we heat embossed the center instead and it is a necklace I showed you this uh, sample on my fork bow video as well and we made this at a class recently um, and then last is just another one with the small and the half inch circle punch inside um, most of these products are from our spring catalog. Okay, so we're going to bring in the Big Shot. And remember on my Big Shot videos, you can see all the tips on this. So for the soda pop tops, take off all your tabs and use no tabs. And then place down a cutting pad. Place your cap on here. I like to place it face down, but I found out it doesn't really matter. You can go either direction. Put your cutting pad on top and run it through the Big Shot. This is so easy. It's shockingly easy. There it is. Simple one inch circle punch. Glue in whatever you want. Heat emboss it, crystal effects, or just leave it as is. Of course, you can make jewelry. You can just punch a hole in there with a normal uh, 1 16th inch hole punch. And then the small ones work the same way. If you do too many at a time, they can get distorted because they uh, they don't press evenly. So I would either do one at a time or spread them out very evenly. They're not going to damage your cutting plate. These get cut all the time anyway by dies. And so there's the small one. So that's it. I hope you um, will uh, smash your soda pop tops and... Um, come back and see me and visit me over at stampwithjennifer.blogspot.com. Thank you.